Hi, it's Jakob again. Let's just jump right into the third example, the last example from today's problem set. Now we have three doors and they have three different things in them, right? The first one says, behind this door there's a trap. The other one says, behind this door there's treasure. And the last one says, be, there is a trap behind the central door. So it's referring to this door, right? So now it's directly referring the statement is directly referring to the other door, which is something new, I guess. Right, the hint says, our guide that is always right says that there's exactly one treasure, so exactly one treasure and two traps, and at most one of those signs is true, right? So at most one of the three things is true, but it's possible that none of them are true. It's possible that everything here is a lie, okay? So let's now think about um, is uh, in, in order, right? First one says, behind this door there's a trap. So, okay, it just says there's a trap there, right? Let's just move on to the second one. This one says, behind this door, there's treasure, right? We can see that both of those things can be false. It is possible that both those are, are false because this one, if, if for this to be false, it's just enough that there's a treasure behind this door, right? This one, for it to be false, it's just a trap must be here, right? They don't interfere with each other. But if we move to the sec to the third one, this one's false only if there is a there is a treasure behind here but if it's treasure the treasure is here then this one must be true right and the flip side if this one's false then there's a trap here so this one's true right in general those two contradict each other they both talk about the same thing they both talk about what's behind this door right so this one talks what's behind this door, and this one also talks behind this door, and they are contradictory, right? What that means is that one of them must be true, because there are only two possibilities. Either there's a treasure here or a trap. One says there's a treasure here, the other says there's a trap here. So they they, they follow, they, they put, like, they talk about all the possibilities. And out of the op all the possibilities, one of them, there are only two, one of them is true. So one of those statements is true, right? But actually because there is at most one true statement among all three of those and we know that the true one is either this one or this one this one must be false because there are either three false statements which we know is not the case because one of the two is true or two false statements and one true the one true is either of those two and this one is the false one right so if this one is a false statement that means the treasure is here because it's all, there can only be a trap or a treasure behind the door. If it's if if you know it says there's a trap here, we know it's not the case, so there must be a treasure here, right? And not is that well, we don't really need to think about which one of those things is true. But when, once we know that the treasure is here, it's quite obvious to say that you know the second statement cannot be true because it says the treasure is here, and we know there's only one treasure. So we can say that this one must be the treasures here, the traps are here and here, and so this statement's false, this statement's false, and this statement's true. But it doesn't really matter to, you don't have to solve the whole problem, uh, like uh, you don't have to solve the truth values of all the three statements, it's enough that if you say, if you're 100% sure the treasures here, you just open the door. This is how this game works, right? We are playing, you know, dungeon, you know, sneaking and, you know, it's m almost like a game. I hope you enjoyed this game and I hope you will enjoy playing this game with us in the problems that we have prepared for you today. Uh, good luck and see you next time.